Aesthetic Detail Studio. Got this 2020 Ram 2500 here. Brand new truck, 2,000 miles or so. Customers dropped it off because they wanted to remove some of these scratches and swirl marks off the brand new truck and get a ceramic coated with RIGL Kenzo five year two layer ceramic coated. And as you can see, the defects aren't that bad. But yesterday, when we got in there, we went through, we removed all the salt, knocked all the ice off of it, went through, prepped it, iron decon, clay barred the surface to get all the contaminants, particulates, tar, bug guts, things like that that might be embedded in the surface off the surface of the vehicle, bring it up to the front of the shop, and now we're gonna get engaged in this paint correction. Due to my inspection, I didn't really find any defects that really seemed like it would need a very heavy level of correction. So, we decided on a one-step correction. I'm gonna be using my Flex XCE 10-8 force rotation polisher. I just got this toy in and I've been having a lot of fun playing with this, so before we get started, let's put some tape on this panel tape up this trim here. For this one step correction, what I'm gonna be using is a 3D light purple cutting pad using Mizerna HC400. That is a all-in-one product where it's a diminishing compound where it starts off a little bit more aggressive to put more cut into the surface and level defects faster. But as you work the compound into the surface, it breaks down into a finer abrasive that allows it to finish out closer to a polish or a finishing polish. So we're gonna throw a couple dots on the pad and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on this panel. I got my electronic Roops LHR75E here. I'm now about to try and focus on this area around the door handle. And since my large machine has a larger orbit, a five inch pad that won't necessarily fit best inside this area. While I'm here and it's on my mind, I wanted to touch on what a true one step really is. Because as somebody who's been detailing for 15 years, I have a hard time getting customers to understand what they're actually gonna get when they're booking a one step correction. You might see what I can achieve on this vehicle right here and then go outside, look at your vehicle and feel like, hey, this is something that my vehicle should be able to get these results within a one-step correction. A general one-step in most terms is one cutting fluid, one pad, one machine, all around the entire vehicle. One pass, depending on what people determine as a pass, one of those with the one pad, one polish, one machine combination all around the entire surface of the vehicle until the results match everywhere. But then again, you have people like me who in pursuit of perfection as detailers, we look to make things perfect. We have an eye for defects and making things better than how they came in. So we end up pulling out extra tools. I got. 15 millimeter, three inch pad with a microfiber cutting disc on it so that I can do some focus work on some of the other defects that catch my eye that stand out to me that the customer might never see or notice. If I left them on the surface, these are defects that could never be noticed. At the end of the day, it's all comes down between clear coat preservation and restoring the gloss and beauty of the vehicle without chasing every single last defect or you go for the ultimate show car level finish where we're chasing to remove every defect out the surface of the vehicle while trying to keep as much of the clear coat behind on the surface. But for the most part, a one step is gonna rejuvenate, give you about that 70% or more, 70 to 75% level of defect removal, the, scrap, the swirl marks that you'll see all over the surface, the love marks, those will be gone. The gloss will pop a lot harder. Generally, oxidation is taken care of in a one step and it makes the paint color pop a whole lot more. I'm gonna start working on the front bumper. I'm gonna lay some tape to tape off this nice uh, fog light housing that they have down here. And then I'm gonna do some work with some three inch pads on my the Roots LHR 75 pneumatic here and polish out one step this whole front bumper to bring the gloss back out of it. So here at ADS, the way we like to prepare to do a ceramic coating is after every correction, depending on the method that we use to correct the vehicle, 
We like to bring it back into the wash bay and do what we call a ceramic preparation wash. Um, within that wash, we use a foam cannon and a, a Clay Korea Softy Series mitt. This is a very soft mitt. There's no scrubbing or anything that needs to be done. All we're really doing is just kind of dragging and agitating the wash solution on the surface of the vehicle to lift any polishing dust, polishing oils and things like that. The grease is left over from the paint correction cycle. Lift those from the surface to prepare it to bond fully to the ceramic coat that we will be installing. made it to the protection stages of this detail here. And now we're gonna install IGO Kenzo five year ceramic coating. We've already wiped down the entire vehicle with IGL pre-coat. That's their orange fueled uh, panel prep solution. I'm very, very anal about my preparation procedures for ceramic coating. Now we're moving on to installing the ceramic coating. This is a two layer ceramic coating. So I'm gonna install the base layer first. And then once the base layer is laid and that's had some time to cure, We'll either cure that by time or with the IR lamp for the first layer, and then we'll move on and install the second layer. But this is about how you install IGL Kenzo ceramic coating on this vehicle. I got the entire front cab, everything from forward of the bed coated with the first layer of IGL Kenzo. Now that it's had some time to begin to bond to the surface, I'm gonna start by leveling the coating using this IGO microfiber coating towel. I wanna to start by leveling the coating down, starting where I first began to apply the coating and work onto the last place where I last installed the coating on the surface. First layer of IGO Kenzo has been laid, the base coat has been laid, installed, and leveled. Now, we're using our shortwave IR curing lamp to bake the coating, the first layer of the coating, onto the surface to get it to cure. Um, so it not only cures harder, but that kind of speeds up the process for us as well. Once this first layer is cured, we're gonna go ahead and install the top coat of IGO Kenzo, do the finishing touches and things like that, and ship this and get this ready to go for the customer. Thanks for stopping in today. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in to watch the video. I'm a little bit new to this whole video thing, but as time goes on, we'll be keep producing more and more quality content as I get used to being in front of the camera and trying to welcome you guys into the world of Aesthetic Detail Studio. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Aesthetic Detail Studio. But for now, that's all I got for you guys because I got to wrap this one up. Welcome to the Art of Detailing. I'm Louis Fair, and thanks again.